Hey there, it's Scott with HVAC Technician Sill Secrets. I've got a really good video for you today. When I started in the heating and air world, there were a couple of trainers that I went and saw, but there was a lot that they were lacking and they left a lot of really good information out. And I really struggled with having conversations with homeowners to get them to a repair, a co-membership, a partnership plan, a maintenance agreement, whatever you want to call it, or even the sale of a new system. And one of the things that I found that I really pioneered was how to explain the damage to a homeowner in a way that made sense. And so if you go back and you watch the video on checklist, you go back and watch the video on setting the scene for, for the homeowner, I'll make sure that those links are in the description. Um, if you explain damage in the order of the operation that that equipment works in, you don't leave anything out, okay? And so there's people that call me and say, hey, Scott, I really need you to help me with my linear business problem. So I have the ability, the skills, the talents to take a problem right here from the starting line and move it all the way over to the finish. That's like one of my one of my hidden talents is that linear process of thinking. So I took that to explaining a piece of damage to a homeowner. Are there people who talk about this now? Yes, there are. Were there people who talked about it when I started training? No, <laughs> there worked. And so what I want you to start thinking of is when you're talking with a homeowner and you're explaining to them, like maybe they got a problem with a fan motor on the outside unit. Maybe they got a problem with a fan blade on the outside unit. Like you got to be able to explain what got you there. What are the possibilities? What are the problems? So I remember that I had somebody who had a, a heat pump blow up on them because a tree stick fell in to the fan shroud, blocked the fan shroud. There was nothing cooling down the compressor. There was nothing cooling down the refrigerant. That fan was gone and it, it, the, the pressure got too great and it blew out one of the sides of the coil. And so like, if you think linearly of how that process happened, you have a better way of explaining the damage to the homeowner. You have a better way of showing them like, hey, here's the logical capability and the problems that could have occurred. So if you're looking and you're like, I definitely know what caused this, that's a fact, okay? But if it's conjecture and you're like, here's the possibilities. Power comes from here, goes here, goes to the fan motor, fan motor cools down the compressor. We got a blowout here. There was a stick in the in, in the in the fan shroud. This is the possibility. Okay, so you're gonna explain damage in the order of operation. Now, tell the truth. You know, when, when you take a look at what goes on out in the field, you don't have to make stuff up. There's so much money to be made in the industry. Don't make stuff up. And if you don't know, don't say it's a fact, okay? And so like, there's times where I ride with technicians and they're, they're, they wanna show off and they wanna set the lead, they wanna sell the part, they wanna sell the piece, they wanna sell the me membership or the plan. And what happens is when you stop telling the truth, you have body language elements, you have vocal pitch and tone that change. And so there's a congruency from the time that you get to the door and you're like, hey, I'm Scott with XYZ Company, is where I'm parked okay. And then you go through your door approach, however you do it, okay? That person's paying attention to your process. They're, they're getting your pattern down. They're getting your dance down. So then like now they're 45 minutes later, an hour later out at the equipment with you and your tone changes and your speed of conversation changes and you're a completely different person. And they're like, there's something wrong here. I don't know what it is, but I'm just gonna tell you no or I wanna think about it, okay? So the cool thing about explaining damage in order of operation is you don't miss any parts or pieces. You don't miss things that are going on in the piece of equipment. Like, oh, I forgot to tell you, you got a bad contactor. Well, like if you're explaining order and the damage of operations, like and you're using your checklist, you're knowing that the contactor comes in front of the, the capacitor. So like, absolutely, you have to explain that the contactor is severely pitted and burned, you know, or you have some voltage drop across the, 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 the low side, the 24 volts isn't getting 24 volts, it's getting 18 for whatever reason, the terminals are going bad, there's, there's some issues, okay? But if you have that ability to explain damage in order of operations, it makes way more sense for the buyer. Now, this is why you want to go to HVACTechSecrets.com and sign up for my email list, right? Name, phone number, name, email address, phone number. Those three things will get you inside. And I will shoot you over training that I'm not going to put public. And I don't have to put everything out public. I've got a lot of technician training, but I'm not going to put all of it out public. The other thing is it's going to link to a Facebook group. Yes, a Facebook group, right? For like-minded technicians just like you. So if you don't know, I am explaining in order of operation. I got my computer right here and I'm looking at my notes. I'm like, what is my order of operation? I'm doing the same thing that I'm professing to you that you should do, okay? So 
here's the thing. You want your homeowner, your business owner to say, thank you for taking more time to explain damage and issues to me than anybody else. Everybody else who just shows up here, they try to, they try to run away. Now, I've got a video that I put up here on YouTube where I talk about like you are leveraging all the time, the energy, and the effort that you're putting into the sales process, this 90 minutes to get to a three to five minute explanation. You better prepare for that three to five minute explanation because if you don't, you're going to be wasting 90 minutes at a pop, 60 minutes at a pop trying to explain damage. And one of the things that happens when salespeople struggle is they speed up the sales process. Remember, if you want to speed up the sales process, you slow it down. And part of that is you tell the story about what's going on. And by you explaining damage in order of operation, I got power that comes from the wall, goes to the contactor, goes to the fan motor. Like you're taking the time to take two to three minutes more than the average technician. So I timed this out just so you know. By slowing down the process and explaining damage in order of operations, it adds about three minutes to a call. But that three minutes is going to net you a part repair, a partnership plan, a maintenance plan, or a club membership, whatever you want to call it, or even setting a lead for a new system by three minutes. Three, 180 seconds, that's it. So I timed this. I rode with a lot of technicians. Slow down the process. Have a conversation with people. Explain what's going on. And, you know, you want people to come back to you and say, thank you for taking more time than anybody else. Thank you for explaining the damage. Thank you for making it really easy for me to follow. There you go. You got this. We'll see you soon.